Good day everyone, today we're going to implement the cross air to our game. So if we move backward, forward, left and right, the cross air will follow as well and it's going to fit perfectly with the recall system that we're going to implement later. So now if I shoot, it's going exactly in the middle of the cross air. And if I drop and change for the sniper rifle, you can see that it's going right in the middle without any change and same thing with the shotgun. So we're going to see exactly how to implement that to the game. The first thing that you have to do is downloading the crosshair from the link below. So when it's done, you can go to your windows under your project and under the folder content, you're going to implement this uh, widget crosshair. So you can just drag and drop and put it right there. If the link doesn't work in my video, you can go to the original link. So if you go to uh, your explorer under the Unreal Engine forum, you have here the asset that was created. So we're going to use this uh, just to save some time so we don't have to do it ourselves. So this gentleman here already did that for that for us. So Osman did that for us. It has been it's a long pause, like, like 2014, as you can see here. So this has been a long, long time. Uh, but it still worked pre pretty good for us. So it's going to be something around those lines that we're going to have at the end. So go back to the video here. So when that it's done, we're going to go to our first person character and we're going to start to implement this from the event begin play. We're going to have the new pin and by control, you can drag and drop the lines. And from number two here, we're going to create our widget blueprint. So just search for widget blueprint and we're going to search the widget blueprint for the crosshair. So it should be WD, WB underscore crosshair right here. And from the return value here, we're going to drag and we're going to promote this to variable because we're going to need to access that later. So we're going to do a riff and we're going to call that crosshair. And from that, from there, I mean, we're going to add this to the viewport. So had to viewport. I'm going to take this one right here. And now if we compile and do play, the crosshair is now on the screen, but it's not moving. So we're going to make that happen. So we're going to go down from our even begin play and we're going to search for even tick. And from there, we're going to do our little calculation in real time to have our crosshair move at the same time that we do. We're going to do a custom event. And this custom event will be called cross air. And now from even tick, we can search for our cross air function. So if we'd have other code to do, we're going to have some room to do it after here. So the cross air itself, we're going to all S to have a sequence here. And from there, we're going to take our reference. So we're going to take the reference for our cross air, which is right there. Just going to get that reference. We're going to drag from it and now we're going to search for the variable that is inside and we're going to set our crosshair line spread. So we're going to take that and it's maybe not called the same as you. Me, I did a little modify just for the name to have a little understanding of what it's doing. You, you may have something like crosshair spread or something around those lines. So just take this and from the crosshair here, we're just going to drag and we're going to search for our map range and we're going to take the clamp right here. And here we're going to put some value that's going to affect our crosshair to behave the way we want. So from the value here, we're just going to search for our vector and we're going to take the vector length right here. And from there, we're going to search. So we're going to search for get velocity which is this one right there. So we're going to click on this and just connect those two together. So you should have something that looks like this. Range A will stay at zero. We're going to put 450 right there. So the other value will be five. And this one uh, will put 50. So now if we compile and play, the crosshair shall move in real time, which is exactly what we want. If we go back to our, if we go back to the widget crosshair, so it should be something that looks like this, right? 
and the cross line spread is right there so the number is zero the thickness of your line is five for me but if you know you you could put for example just 20 so we can see the difference so you click on part and go you can have some big lines like this so if it's what you want go for it otherwise i'm going to put that back to five and the cross line link here it's the link of your line obviously so it's at 15 but if you put i don't know five and you compile and you go now you can see that the line always smaller so you can change those number to reflect the look that you want so we're going to compile that and now by default it should be something like this so you can also play with the number right here to see what they do but you can remove that and put that to zero and now you're going to see that there's another difference here I'm going to put back the num the number which was 450 so the number a to the out range this one so it's a so it's going to be 0 to 5 and this one is 450 to 50 right so by playing with those number you can change the size of your line on the screen so we're going to compile and do that again so now you can see that there is a difference there so you can just try and play with those number for what you like and you will be all set and have it so now if we take a gun and it should work perfectly shooting right in the middle so it's exactly what we want so if you switch and get the other gun it's going to be exactly the same right in the middle so i will catch you on the next one